Okay, so as said, um, cyber security for SMBs, uh, is it a real threat? Uh, should SMB be proactive about it? And if, uh, if they should, then, uh, then how? Um, a little bit about statistics about um, how cyber is related to SMBs because we are, as business owner, we don't see always ourselves as a, as a risk or in risk. Uh, but very important for us to understand a bit the statistics uh, that will put, it, put, uh, put us a bit in, in the picture. So 43% uh, of the SMBs lack any type of cybersecurity defense plan. So they might be aware, but 43% doesn't have any uh, solution for that. Uh, one out of five SMBs don't use any endpoint security protection so not antivirus, not uh, uh, EDRs, not any protection whatsoever about, let's say, what comes with the laptop itself or with the um, desktop itself. And uh, if we're taking in consideration those statistics are worldwide statistics, then we need to understand that in, in, uh, in Africa, because of uh, usually because of maybe more uh, economical reasons, then the statistics are even a bit worse in terms of how many people actually install antivirus that is actually active and, and live and, uh, and is up to date. Okay, so it can be antivirus or any other solution. 78% uh, of SMBs view security uh, as their most severe cloud security challenge, meaning they are very aware, uh, they are aware of the risk, uh, however, as we see from the other statistics, many of them are actually taking the risk of not doing anything, either because of cost or because of non-availability of solutions. Um, wait, we went too far. Yes, or non-availability of solutions or non-availability of uh, financial means and so on. But still the awareness, almost 80% are aware about this, this issue and that something needs to be done. Um, only 47% of SMBs find breaches within days, meaning that 53% usually don't even find a breach, meaning they will be breached, they will have breaches they don't even know about, okay? So this is the majority of the businesses that it has uh, cyber uh, breaches, they will not even know uh, this is, by the way, not only in small and medium businesses, also in big ones. Sometimes the breach will be this, uh, uh, will be detected only after several weeks, months, or not at all. Okay, ninety-three percent of small businesses uh, uh, of small business data breaches are financially motivated. So, of course, we know that if there is a breach, then some the person that is doing it has a financial motive behind it. Either he with ransomware is looking to get a, a payment or to steal pay, um, some uh, uh, financial details from the company or to steal uh, credit card details or bank details. So he can do the next uh, step of actually gaining from that. 57% uh, of SMB data breaches involve external threat actor. That's very important but because that means that 43% are actually done uh, internally. Uh, so it's coming within our organization, so we need to take it in consideration. 63% um, of SMBs report experiencing the data breach in the previous 12 months. So any type of data breach, even uh, receiving mails uh, from various unknown sources with the links inside and so on. So we need to, everybody, each and every one of us, or most of us has experienced that. It's a very common and we're bringing us to a, um, the situation that we are very aware, okay? And 46% of SMBs with under 1,000 employees had five to 16 hours of downtime that is related to breach. Uh, of course, worldwide, SMBs consider under 1,000 employees. Uh, if we're speaking on the African market, Nigeria uh, specifically, then uh, under 100 employees is considered as an SMB, above 100 is uh, considered as already as an enterprise. But still, 
any business that is suffering from downtime, either in services, either in, uh, in its internal system, it affects its activity, it will affect its revenue, it will affect uh, the image that the business has. So we understood uh, why, uh, on, in terms of the statistics, when we are speaking about why uh, cybersecurity for SMBs, then of course, to protect the business, this goes without saying, uh, to ensure the business continuity. If tomorrow morning the business owner wakes up and his system is wiped out, this business continuity is very difficult. Um, most businesses doesn't keep um, um, doesn't save and do backups uh, up to date. So this is a huge challenge in case of, of uh, data breach. Um, of course, it allows the business to focus on its major business. I don't expect any business owner to be an expert in cybersecurity. The same as we are not expert in doing their own business, but once the business owner has taken a cyber company to do uh, or took a cyber solution, then he can continue and focus on his on his business and actually continue in, in uh, producing his revenue. Uh, goes without saying to minimize the business risk and enhancing brand confidence. So we need to take in consideration every downtime, every issue we, we can see that with the banks, banks that have many downtimes. And we know that we've seen on the news that they got um, uh, hacked or had a cyber issue. They will suffer from a loss of mass of a uh, very big loss of uh, clientele, and small businesses will suffer the same. Okay, so if we know that our supermarket, our credit card uh, information uh, was breached, probably will not go back to the supermarket. We'll go to another one. Um, so all of that prevents a huge uh, money loss, and by the end of the day. Uh, it's preventing a lose-lose situation because a cyber situation is always a lose-lose situation. Once a company is uh, is been breached, uh, it's always a lose-lose situation. Either we lose downtime, either we lose uh, actual money, either we lose on our image. Uh, there is no way that there is a positive side to it. Um, various uh, cyber attack scenarios, uh, we can see that if we're getting an email to the company that uh, has a, a message within and uh, our secretary, our one of our team members and so on, uh, open the mails, click on the attachment or the link and so on. Once uh, the attachment has been open and so on, the system has been breached, the file has been installed on, on uh, either the laptop or the system itself, and then it gives access to the hacker to enter within, to do whatever he likes, to install uh, backdoors, to install uh, malwares, and so on. And uh, we will probably discover it once he is ready for his next step, okay? A different scenario. Uh, the hacker is accessing directly the, the web application uh, or uh, directly the, uh, the systems of the business. It's a bit more complicated, but still happens. Uh, so it's a more direct approach, more, it's not like sending emails uh, all over. Once someone clicked, then uh, the hacker side is falling on their head. This is actually more targeted, but definitely happens a lot. So what's the solution? So solution actually came from CyberSoc uh, and we actually invented the idea of bringing a solution for SMBs and we call it the SOC 360. So who, who we are? So we speak about CyberSoc. Uh, CyberSoc exists uh, in Africa since uh, 2016. So uh, six years of activity. We are the number one MSSP provider in, in Africa, giving SOC as a service and what we call cyber as a service. Uh, we are based in Lagos uh, headquarters. We have another office in Abuja, another office upcoming quarter in, uh, in fourth quarter now we will be open in Nairobi, Kenya. 
uh, with another sock over there. Um, we are benefiting from a very powerful military grade expertise from experts and expats that we were that are working for us and working as part of the company. We are uh, ISO certified, uh, 27001, a very unique one. And most of the companies that give uh, cyber services within our region doesn't have this ISO certification. It means how um, procedure the company is and how we're very meticulous about the processes within. Of course, goes without saying, we're operational 24 seven, 365 days a year. There is always someone that is sitting in our control room and in our SOC that gives services and is there to assist the, the clientele in, in case of need. Uh, we have more than 60 cyber experts, so engineers that are actually sitting either in the SOC, in the, the, the professional services or in our intelligence unit and give services to our clients. Of course, there is a bigger system behind it and uh, in terms of administrative to, to support all this activity. In terms of technologies, so as a company that is giving services to dozens of, uh, of clients, we have the capability to have the cutting edge technologies, meaning to have always the last uh, technology, things that even big organization cannot do because they cannot change their systems all the time, that will be too costly. Since we are giving services to many, many clients, then we have the capability to always stay up to date uh, because for us, it's it's a shared uh, solution. Um, in terms of our services, divided into two major uh, activities, the threat detection and then the threat response. So on one hand, we will monitor what's going on with the client. Secondly, in case of an event, we have a very uh, strong and uh, experienced team of, uh, of incident responders that they will come to respond in case of the threat and manage the activity for the client. Um, Stop360 comes as a solution. It's a unified platform, meaning it's one solution that is identical to all the clients of, uh, of the SMBs because most of the SMB clients have the practically all, almost the same needs. Uh, of course, it's using uh, the latest uh, technologies. It's very easy and rapid to deployment from the client side, and we will see it later. It's actually one click um, that he needs to do, and all the rest is done internally by us. Uh, and this, this solution benefits as well from our 24 seven uh, availability and 24 seven monitoring. And of course, in terms of scalability, then an SMB that is currently maybe have 30 or 40 or 50 employees or even smaller can take this solution and grow, make it grow as it grows. Okay, so if it needs tomorrow morning to add uh, two more uh, employees or two more systems, doesn't need to buy a, a hundred more uh, solutions and so on. It will add more agents as it grows. And if it goes now to the level of an, an enterprise, we will convert him to uh, enterprise solutions uh, as he grows. Uh, in terms of the, the key or the value proposition of, of the Stock360, so first of all, I think the most the basic element that is simple, okay? Um, how simple it is, simple as giving services to an expert and telling, okay, do it for me same way as we are bringing our car to the garage and expecting the mechanic to do the, the service for us just because we don't know how to do it, but we don't we, we want to bring it to someone that we have confidence in it. And we know that for us, it's, uh, it's a seamless. And uh, after that, we are sitting in, in secured and we know that our systems are properly uh, uh, monitored. Um, we spoke about the leading technologies and I will repeat it again. So the advantage of working with a company that gives services to a large number of clientele is benefiting from the last technology. Meaning in some cases for some clients, so it's a certain period of time when technology or the next technology is being published or introduced, we will push the new technology to the client in most cases, it will not even know, or you get just a notification, you need to install the new file. 
instead of the old one, because we're taking you to the next uh, level solution. It's something that is in, included within the, uh, the solution. So it's not something that we will, that we are requiring the client to add a cost to it down the road. The value is very clear. Once a business owner understand that we are uh, uh, saving him from downtimes and from image uh, protection. So his brand um, keeps to be in a positive uh, vibe with his clientele then it's definitely uh, something that uh, every business owner wants. Uh, and all of it comes to protect the revenue. Uh, so uh, by the end of the day, it's not a bulletproof solution. Nothing is, but it comes to minimize the risk. Once you know that someone professional is watching your business and is guarding you 24-7, then at least you can sleep quietly. It doesn't mean that nothing can happen, but means that if someone is trying to enter your systems, at least you will know it at the, at, the, uh, at the same moment and the same professional team will manage the event for you to mitigate and to bring things to order. So what is the onboarding? Uh, when we're speaking on the SOC 360, uh, we need to understand that it's uh, something that is quite easy. And since it was, uh, bring to the level of it was brought to the level of SMBs, then it's also easy in terms of uh, integration. Okay, it's not a long integration like the enterprises. So the first step we'll have, uh, we, we are doing a profiling to the client. We're sending him a specific link. He needs to fill uh, doc, um, some details. We will see it in, in the next slide. Uh, we are doing an assessment for the client's uh, architecture and the network to understand what he has in terms of servers, online, offline, on cloud, off cloud, on-prem, off-prem, and so on, uh, in terms of various uh, uh, operation systems and so on. We will provision the, the license. Uh, we will do the onboarding step with the client. In most cases, uh, let's say for email protection, we will require to do some uh, like MX record change. Uh, for the EDR, we will send a, a file uh, for the client that he needs to install in his own uh, system. And once that were, once that is done, the client is secured. We are starting to get uh, logs and we are uh, starting to monitor and actually giving the service to the client. Um, in terms of the assessment, so the assessment form it's very easy. So it's an online uh, assessment form. Ten, si ten simple questions from the bio data of the company itself. Then uh, the number of emails, the number of websites, the number of cloud servers that the company has, uh, other uh, various uh, solutions that the company has. Maybe they are using a specific system or specific uh, uh, sys um, other solution. And this will give us all the information regarding the network infrastructure of the client. Following that, our engineers will be able to come with the right solution. Um, I'll show you a, a small uh, movie about it, and then we will continue. As a business owner, you must take care of your business, the growth, the sales, human resources, and many other aspects of managing a business. One of them is to ensure the protection and continuity of the business. In past years, securing the business meant physical security. However, in these days, protecting the business has become virtual, as cyber threats are becoming more and more common, and not only limited to governments and huge organizations. As an expert in your own domain, you know that having an expert protecting your cyber domain will give you peace of mind, allowing you to focus on what you are good at. This is why CyberSoft have developed for you Soft 360 a solution that utilizes military-grade expertise and enterprise-level infrastructure and know-how. Solution includes protection of email, endpoint detection and response agent, cloud server, antivirus and anti-phishing, vulnerability management, incident response and remote response team, firewall log monitoring, and SIEM solution deployments. Now, go to www.soc360.net and get protected. Once you're done filling the details on the website, one of our SOC 360 engineers will contact you and take you through the onboarding process, which will include the installation of an agent on each one of your endpoints, monitoring only the logs 
and guide you through the changes needed in your environments, allowing us to see any abnormal activities and take actions in case of an incident. Once the agent has been installed, you are protected. As a client, you will get a monthly report summary on activities and incidents that have taken place in your environment. In case of an actual incident, our engineers will contact you and guide you through the actions that need to be taken. Click now and get protected with SOC 360. To learn more, visit www.soc360.net. Okay. As a business owner, you must take care of as a bit. Okay. If you are going uh, on the infrastructure side of, uh, of the architecture of, of the solution, then we need, well, then we see that the solution is actually sitting in the middle and it gi gives basically uh, a comprehensive solution to most um, applications that an SMB will work with. So in, if an SMB is working locally, of course, it's easier and the uh, protection is done uh, locally. If the SMB is working on the cloud, then we know how to work with the cloud solution as well. And uh, either it's in Office of it's Office uh, 365 or G Suite or any other uh, cloud uh, service. Um, and I will say most cloud services with some kinds, sometimes there are like proprietary solutions that we will have to find a solution for it. Or we might say, look, this is not within uh, our support level, uh, but when when we reach to a specific situation with the client, we can definitely find or either advice for a solution. Uh, in terms of uh, all the email uh, uh, solutions and in terms of all the internal systems, God without saying, so the servers, the firewalls, uh, web applications, and so on. So all of that is within uh, uh, the architecture of the solution. Uh, when we are going to the pricing, so we have uh, two different level of, of pricing. We have uh, the Cyber uh, Protect, which usually will be sufficient for most uh, business owners, uh, which is calculated as well. As we said, it grows as the business grows. So it's calculated per user per month. Uh, and the, uh, the bigger solution that is called Cyber Expert has an additional uh, SIM solution deployment, meaning uh, it will allow more monitoring or a higher level of monitoring of the company. That goes for maybe for SMBs that are bigger, that have more complex solutions and, and so on. Um, as you can see, the list of uh, features that is mentioned for each is very robust. Uh, the antivirus is embedded within, so it's included. So the company or the, the SMB that is actually taking this service doesn't need to have, in addition to that, other solutions. It's a comprehensive solution, email protection and antivirus protection and anti-phishing, and all of these ones are included within the service, um, meaning we're saving money on other uh, activities with, and the business doesn't need to spend twice or three times on other things. Um, if you are speaking about frequently asked questions, uh, you can browse. If you have questions, I'm available to answer. If not, uh, if there are no other questions, if there are no questions, then you can definitely reach back to us or log into our website of sub360.net and uh, fill up the form. One of our uh, agents will call you back and uh, we'll be able to uh, give you a specific information and specific solution for your uh, company. So if there are any other uh, questions, I'll be uh, happy to answer um, from uh, our uh, attendees. And if not, uh, then we will uh, wrap up in a minute or two and uh, you'll be able to reach uh, to us back. So if you have any questions, this is the time. Okay, so no questions so far, so good. Uh, I hope everything was clear. 
Uh, I thank our attendees. I thank uh, the team of CyberSoc that participated in uh, in preparing the the webinar and uh, assisting uh, technically technically. And thank you very much.